risk plus stress FTW. I don't know what that means. Hey everybody, what is good? My name is Keo and this is Ajma.com's opening act. Today we're opening up a brand new pair of shoes that I actually didn't know about until I ordered it. Now, before anything else, I'd like to ask if you are enjoying our videos, please click the thumbs up and click on the notification bell and subscribe to our channel, of course, so that you can always get the latest of the stuff that we're covering. So here's the box. It's my first time to order from the website and I'm very happy. I paid for expedited shipping and this came in two days, which is awesome. So I picked it up on Saturday and uh, by Monday lunchtime, it was already at my house, which is pretty cool. Uh, I took the liberty of opening up the tape ahead of time because I wanted to make sure that the shoe was the right size and thankfully it is. Uh, so let's open it up. When you open up the box, this is the box that it comes from, from Nike. Uh, the flaps have a little bit of branding. It's a swoosh here and just do it, which is great because this is a problem apparently in other countries where there's branding on the outside of the box. Uh, so I like that there's no branding on the outside of this box so nobody steals it because that happens. And inside the box is another box. And this box says N354. Now, my Nike history serves me correctly. 354 is, uh, is the time when Steve uh, Prefontaine first broke the four minute mile. So he broke it in, in three minutes and 54 seconds. Inside this box, so it's cool, it's got these little stripes here, a little off-whitey. And swoosh, it's kind of got this kind of pencil, like uh, hand-drawn swoosh. And uh, cutting marks <laughs> on the outside of the box, that's kind of cool. On the label it says, Nike React Type GTX. This is size 9.5, which is my size. And it says, uh, black slash bright ceramic is the color. I have no idea what bright ceramic is. Uh, I've only seen this in pictures, so let's open it up. Hmm. So, this is the shoe. The other shoe, so on one shoe it has a tag for Gore-Tex. And on the other shoe, it has this other white tag. N.354 captures the innovative nature of Nike while creating a place to test ideas. This N.354 label collection explores protection, underfoot, comfort, and traction. Risk plus stress, FTW. I don't know what that means. Off the bat, what I think is really cool looking at this shoe is this big, giant wedge of React foam. Now, loyal viewers of the channel know what a big fan I am of React. First, you have the outsole, which is a nice gum, a rubber outsole. And then you have React, which looks like it's in black. And then you come up to the body, and the body is, you know, the, the upper of the shoe is made of Gore-Tex material. First you have this kind of rubberized Gore-Tex material that's in black and it says Gore-Tex on this tab. And then there's this orange swoosh. Now that's the only bright accent on the shoe. So I'm guessing that that is what bright ceramic is. And then here on the toe, it's split. You have some textile and some kind of fuse overlay again. So over here, it's kind of on, on the lateral side. It has this rubberized uh, fuse exterior for waterproofing. And then this area is textile. And then on the toe, you have more fuse, except this one is kind of like in a, in a matte rubber finish. And on this side, it's like a, kind of like a rubberized uh, construction sandpaper kind of style. Lots of paneling over the sides. And all the paneling is kind of done in fuse. So it, it looks like the shoe is entirely made of one material, this Gore-Tex exterior, and then uh, all, of the, all of the paneling, or what would be paneling, is done in, in fuse. On the lateral side, you have a check, a, a Nike swoosh, painted on to this rubberized Gore-Tex material. And then on the medial side, there's just a small, uh, hand-drawn swoosh in the, on the corner of the heel. 
and it's the same swoosh from the box. So I guess that's kind of iconic of the N354 line. On the tongue, the tongue is made of kind of like a, like a synthetic suede, which is strange for an all-weather shoe. And it says N1 and swoosh N54. The story here is that I was actually looking for a waterproof um, outdoor shoe because tomorrow I am going to the rainforest uh, to go hunting for some coffee trees. And I wanted a rubber shoe with some traction uh, that would, uh, that was waterproof, right? So I wanted a waterproof uh, shoe that had some more traction than, than the commuter and, and the day-to-day -day shoes that I've been wearing. And I just love React. I was gonna get the ACG React and I actually originally went to a store here in Manila and they didn't have my size anymore. Uh, I'm a size 9.5, so that shoe, you know, that size sells out relatively quickly compared to other sizes. And so I went online to the Nike website and on that same day, they were supposed to be dropping the, uh, the Travis Scott Air Force One. And of course, I, I joined in the raffle on the Nike website try and get that shoe. I also joined the raffle on Titan, uh, in the Titan app, and I did not win any of those shoes. Uh, but I saw this and I thought that's a really cool silhouette. I love React Foam and I happen to need a waterproof rubber shoe for this rainforest visit. Uh, hopefully I'll be going up into the forest more and I'll need uh, waterproof shoes. So I I'm, gonna, I'm gonna include some up close shots of these and maybe an on foot, but Expect another video after I come back from the rainforest. I'll try to shoot some footage and see how this fared up against some very, very intense environment in the environment. So that's it. That's been the unboxing of the Nike React Type. Yeah, the Nike React Type GTX. I've been a fan of the React. Uh, uh, I've been a fan of React for a long time. I've also been a fan of the Type series. But this is the first time I've managed to pick one up. The Type Series, they had an AF1 and then they had this, um, I think they called the Drop Type, which is kind of this low skateboarding style shoe. And the thing I like about this N54 series is uh, kind of that it, it's really very experimental and you feel the experimental um, feel <laughs> when, you, when you look at these shoes. And this one in particular feels very experimental, particularly because it's not like an adjustment on a different model. It's really a unique silhouette, unlike any other silhouette. It's not like the, it's not like the elements. It's not like the epic reacts. I pull out the paper. The insole is stuck on, but on the inside, it actually says, has some wording inside. It says the React Dash Type GTX design is based on a prototype from Nike Air Talaria from 1997. So this is apparently based on a silhouette from 1997. That's pretty cool. It's, it's like 20 something years old now, 22 years old. Uh, the inside of the other shoe is the same. And yeah, having known nothing about this shoe, they come with rope laces, only one pair of laces in the box. And the tongue is kind of half sewn in. Uh, so I'm starting to see these on a lot of shoes. So the tongue, it looks like it goes all the way there, but it's sewn up to here so the tongue doesn't move from side to side. And it'll also probably keep it waterproof up until that level, which is cool. Uh, there's also this top eyelet, which is made out of rubber. Like this is thick, like one millimeter thick rubber. And then over here, there's a heel counter that's very reminiscent of uh, a lot of other Nike running shoes. So I guess that this is basically the upper that's based on, a, on this uh, Air Talaria from 1997, and then the, the sole is a React sole. So that explains a lot why I like the styling of the shoe, because it's, it's, I don't know if it's technically a retro, but it certainly has the feel of one. It like has this nice 90s uh, trail shoe feel to it. So I'm gonna put it on foot now, and you'll see some of these shots scattered throughout the video, just so you can see what it looks like. And I'll let you know how it feels and how it performs when we come back from the rainforest. I'm gonna be taking this up into 900 to 1,300 meters above sea level. Uh, so that should be exciting. We're gonna be spending two to three days there. 
looking for coffee plants. And finally, I'd like to request if you could please follow us on Instagram. We have Ajima Mag on Instagram, at Keo Kosha on Instagram, and of course, our home here, our studios at Hariko Manila is at Hariko Manila on Instagram. And we thank you for joining us in the journey. Please join us as we journey up into the mountains with the Gore-Tex, uh, with the React Type GTX, which is the Nike React Gore-Tex shoe, uh, to see how this does up in the mountains as we search for these trees. It's gonna be awesome. I can't wait to show you. Peace.